So you want to know how I made this here? I'm about to get down. But get on into this video, y'all. Come on into this video so you can see how I made this. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful and prosperous and blessed day. Thank you all for coming back to see what T Blog is doing again. Thank you. And before we get into this video, I would like for you to do this. Yeah, of course, you know what I'm going to say. Yes, hit my blinky blink, right? Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit a thumbs up as well, leave a comment down below. All right? And share the video everywhere you go. Okay? Thank you all for coming back. So happy Thursday. Yes, we are here Thursday, April the 20th. No, April the 27th, right? Yes. So yesterday I cooked. And that video will be coming out. It'll probably come out either before this video or after this video. So either way, this is what I cooked. So I had some real good seasoned turkey thighs, okay? So I had a couple of left, and I'm only going to use one. And what I'm going to do is, you know, I like to amp up my leftovers, right, y'all? Okay, that's what I do. So here's one of those nice, good, golden brown turkey thighs. Yeah. So I'm going to take that skin off of there, y'all. I'm going to save that for our little puppy. Let him enjoy it, okay? But I got these little ramekins here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that turkey thigh, and I'm going to... Do these ramekins up. I have a pie crust here. It was in the package. I just took one out because I only need one. I'm going to take this pie crust, y'all. And yes, you said it. I heard you back there. Yes, you back there. Yes, turkey pie pies. All right. So I'm going to bring to you all some turkey pie pies, okay? And we're just going to make a quick little ramp up, mix it all up in a bowl, and, you know, add a little seasoning, a little uh cream of chicken and let's let's do it up because it's already seasoned you know i'm just gonna probably add just a little more tidbit of my you know me i like to add a little more spice but hey let's get so it what on. i'm doing right going, now okay. is i'm All not right. getting it too hot i'm just getting it a little warm uh thawed out really good in the microwave maybe i should have cut it off the meat and stuff off the bone and everything but i'm just gonna kind of thaw it out a little bit because it's cold from the new refrigerator yes and then we're just gonna okay, so I have get so let's get here. Into I have it. it on the little top i was just kind of heating it up in the microwave but that's okay i don't need the little top anymore we have some mixed vegetables here so we're gonna take these mixed vegetables we're gonna use these here kind of frozen a little bit so i'm gonna slide them in the microwave let them kind of get a little on top we're gonna put everything in this bowl here um, I got a little onion here. I'm just going to take just a little piece of the onion, a can of uh, cream of chicken, and you know, I use this here, this little tomato basil seasoning I got from Marshall's. We got some black pepper, onion, and garlic powder, which is the twins, y'all. call them the twins. Okay, so let's get this started. Let's get this cut up. You know, I'm going to throw this on in the microwave, kind of let it get a little, little bit on top so it can go into this here. We're just going to go ahead and peel this uh, skin off. You know, this, we usually keep the skin and give it to uh, the dog for a treat. You know, he like that good skin, you know what I'm saying, y'all. So we're going to just chop this up. Uh, see how good that turkey got done and well. Ooh, y'all, that turkey. That uh, turkey was so doggone good, y'all. With that Cajun, uh... to get I don't want to cook it in my way with that Cajun mac and cheese I made yesterday Ooh, yeah that was the best yes 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 try that Cajun mac and cheese if you can you know you don't have to you know get some Cajun seasons if you want to or you can make it just like I made it you know what I'm saying but yeah I'll tell you it was really really good so just one thigh one turkey thigh would do suffice if enough for, you know, uh, the meat. Trying to get all the meat off of here. Yeah. You might hear my microwave beep in the back, background, you know. So, so now we're going to just take this meat here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this over here on the side. And I'm just gonna start cutting this meat up. <laughs> you know, it don't have to be cut up fancy or anything. You know, you could pull it apart with your fingers, it doesn't matter. You know, because it's just turkey meat, you know. We're just gonna amp this up and make some uh, turkey pie pie. Yeah, I love it. So I'm gonna get this cut up, get these vegetables out, and then we're just gonna cut so it. I'll show you how we're gonna put it all onion. together. We have the diced up turkey thigh. We're gonna go ahead and put that piece of onion in here. Okay. So, we're getting out the meat. Next vegetable. We're gonna go, go ahead and put some mixed vegetables in here. We're just gonna put about half of them. We don't need that much. And then we got the can of uh, cream of uh, what is it? Cream of cream of chicken. Now this is a different type of brand of cream of chicken. I've never tried it before. But it looked kind of clumpy, but <laughs> and then what you do is just mix it on up in here. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasons, but I'm also gonna add because the way that came the chicken look, <laughs> I'm gonna add this is some chicken base. It's just a little chicken base. But I about a teaspoon of chicken base. That's what I'm using this here. Chicken base. Okay. You can find this at Sunfresh or I think you can find it at Walmart. So we're going to go in with a little black pepper. My uh, basil seasoning from uh, Marshall's. And y'all, my twins. A little garlic powder. That's onion powder I use, and this is garlic powder. <laughs> and then, of course, I have here a little water because I know you're probably saying, that look dry. No, baby, it ain't going to be dry. You just add a little water to it. I have to because I have to mix this chicken base up <laughs> in here. So, of course, it's not going to look dry, but it is going to be meaty. I don't want it too dry. I mean, too moist, though. Because once it cooks down, it's going to bring its own moisture in the cooking process. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then now we're going to go ahead and get these here set up for the ramekins. Okay, okay. so now we have the Popeye mixture together. I had to put up all my seasoning. See, Popeye mixture up. And now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set my oven to 395. And I'm going to bring these ramekins on over here. Now this crust, I'm going to cut it in four parts. And the reason of that is because... One half is going to go for one, the other half is going to go for the other. Okay? And when I cut it in four parts, that means <laughs> this is a top, this is a base. <laughs> this is a top, this is a base. Okay? So you want to cut it just like this here because two tops and two bases. Okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. You can use any spray oil you want to. I have some Pam here. Let's give it to me, so I'm just gonna spray a little Pam. But I use olive oil spray, honestly. But this was given to me from someone, so hey, I just decided to go ahead and use it. Go ahead and use it on up. Okay, then what you wanna do is, you can take the rims off and just, <coughs> Place this on down in the bottom. And then just go ahead and just stick 
the rest of it where you choose that it may, okay? Because you want crust at the bottom of your ramekin, okay? Then now you want to fill it up. It doesn't matter how the crust is in there. You know, some people like to perfect it and stuff like that. But me, it doesn't matter. But this is a pie pie. A turkey pie pie. I'm going to eat it up anyway. And some people put potatoes in there. I don't. Because the, for me, <laughs> the crust is just enough itself. Okay? Okay. So there we go. And then, just like this here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the other part. I'm going to break this off. I'm just going to lay that on top. Just going to lay that on top. And you can just, just mold it to it if you want to. You don't have to. You know, you can just let it lay on top and let it do its thing. You know what I'm saying? You can mold it if you want to. You don't, Like I said, you don't have to. You know, but... When it's all said and done, that's your pie pie. So I'm going to put a little slit in the top for ventilation. There we go. And then I'm going to go on top for a little spray for, for the brim. Okay? As simple as that. Small, simple, ramekin top of pie pie. Turkey pie pie. Okay? Now, on my channel, I have in my old uh, vlog... <coughs> I have where you can see me making pie pie with leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. And hey, you can go check that out. And hey, it, it was a hit. Very much so. so I'm going to turn this around and fill this one here. Now, some people might say, well, what you going to do with the rest of the filling? Hey, I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to stick it in my freezer. And when I'm getting ready to make some more Popeye, hey, we already got it. You know what I'm saying? If I want to make another little small ramekin of Popeye, I could take it and use a biscuit dough and make Popeye with it. Or you could take it and make dumplings with the rest of it. Now, some people like dumplings, vegetables with their dumplings. So, so yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Let's lay it on top. The rest of it, like I said. <coughs> and it's going to perfect it. It ain't got to be perfect. You know, just kind of mold it down. Make it all right for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So this one here, I'm going to leave this one out. Um, I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator and wrap it up because this is for my daughter. She's going to want to cook that later. But this one here, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the oven on 375 for about 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes for an hour until it starts getting golden brown and good and bubbly. Okay, okay everyone. So, I got the pie pie in. I'm washing my dishes. <laughs> Which I didn't use Anyway, but I had this few that I needed to kind of clean up, you know. So once that gets done, I'm going to show you the piece of the resistance. Oh, thank you for all my new subscribers. That's what I meant to say. All my new subscribers that have come over and come in to see the. The vlogs, the videos, the lives, everything. So I appreciate you all. Blessings to you all. And let's uh let's stay safe and prayerful. Because y'all have so much going on. I swear to God. So let's just stay safe and prayerful with one another. Yes. <coughs> So I'm just sitting here washing. She's like, I got her Popeye in the refrigerator for her to cook it whenever she's ready. Hers is already pre-made. Uh, 
it actually ate a Popeye from like the kind of store Popeyes that you got from the store. I already ate one of those, but I thought, see, that stuff might help. I don't know why. I like to make my stuff fresh, you know, fresh meat, you know, I, I to keep it as much as in my fresh. It's awesome. I'm thinking what it's fresh with my next But hey, frozen is fresh, so it's just frozen. That's all it is. So I'm going to bring back to you. I'm slapping suds, y'all. I'm washing dishes, but I'm slapping suds. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring back to you guys the Popeye once it's done, so you all can see it. And uh, yes, and right here on the side, you might be saying, "What is that on the side?" The old white thing. That's a dishwasher. My own personal dishwasher. I had to uh, yeah, because sometimes my my arthritis in my hands, y'all. Like I took my medicine today, so and it's cloudy out. So I'm working with like I'm working on pain of like a three or four. So that's why yesterday yesterday was one of my better days because it wasn't cloudy and stuff like that. But today, you know, it's not cloudy. So okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna come back. So you got that uh what that Popeye looks like, and see you in a moment, okay? Take care. Now, are you ready to look at this gorgeous little Popeye? And here Let's we see. go. There is that little gorgeous Popeye. Look at it. Mm. It looks like a little tree house, don't it? <laughs> so let me plate it up. I'm ready to plate it up. There we go. And let me show you. What it looks like. So, if you all enjoy watching me make this video on this beautiful, delicious turkey pot pie, go over and come on and just get into the video with me. Simple Meals by T Vlog. That's right. Simple Meals by T Vlog and space the wordings. Love you all and share the video everywhere you go so that you can get into these good meals that I'll be making. All right. Bye.